warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches. So, your discretion is advised. We kill shit here. What's up guys? We're back out on the line. I had a few uh, raccoons on camera last night. It's been really cold so I haven't really been thinking about targeting them but today we got to put out a few sets. Got this trail. It runs right along here. It basically goes clear up in the woods and it just meanders all through the woods. So I'm gonna drop, I got bobcat set up there. I got one over here, so helping the nest predators. <laughs> I guess that's my new slogan. We're trying to get rid of nest predators to help the nesting birds. So, yeah, we're gonna put a couple dog fish right here. So stay tuned. Middle of this trail, and then I'll go up the trail a ways and throw another one in. And these will be here throughout the season. So we're not, we're already checking the bobcat sets, so we'll just swing through and look over every day and check these guys. It'd be a whole lot better to catch the raccoons here than uh, in a bobcat set. He can use rebar. This is plenty hard to ground, but this is kind of just deter theft, so That's kind of where the wolf fangs come in handy It's for theft But not always Coon candy on here, it'll puts off a hell of a smell. I'll drop this in this hole, it'll help. It's off a heck of a smell. Finally remember to bring it today. Simple as that. That's that. As simple as that. So that trail comes right through here, gets on this deer trail, and then it meanders all up through here, so. We're just throwing a couple on it. A lot of guys will pull straight up and they're like, I could pull that right out, like if you're in soft mud. But animals aren't pulling that way. They're usually pulling this way. And then they, we pull a lot harder than they do. I was guilty of it. I'd be like, I could pull that right out of the ground. Some ground's different than others. As you can tell, we're not speed setting. We're just out here enjoying the day. Dude will pick up once we once we have to uh, work again. But until then, we're just out here enjoying it. So there's a couple dog proofs in. Got a few more to put in, and then I'll load some more in the truck or the Ranger today for tomorrow. We'll just keep adding them out. So this is a 
probably wouldn't be a bad spot for a bobcat set here also but with this raccoon trail here i gotta i gotta get rid of some of the raccoons first before i move up into here all right moving on guys so i had a giant raccoon on camera there's a trail kind of a small trail right here you can kind of see it so i knew i knew i needed to get some dog proof there but I didn't quite get it in time. There's this big old Ricky right here. He is a big son of a bitch. Nice coon, but look what he did. Look at all that eye appeal now. Sheesh. He's a big guy. We'll get him taken care of and I'll try to remake this the best I can. Pretty good size. Won't complain about it one bit. I am going to put a couple dog proofs in. I do have a complaint with how much digging he did. Look at this. He's a digger. So, I don't know. I'd like to be back there, but... I'm not gonna pull the trap. I'm just gonna use it, leave it where it is, which is right here. Take all this back here. Make a make us a hump. So now we're gonna have three different kinds of sets here. Your standard dirt hole, and then this big old mound of dirt that. Everything in this whole country is going to be like, what is that? This is where if I had a piece of PVC pipe, it would come in handy. But maybe it'll be packed enough I can do something with it. Trying to work a hole there. I think we've got enough of a hole to hold our bait and not fill back in here. Okay, night latch is clean. Looks like this trap might have to be adjusted a little bit. No, it's just a tad bit high, but we can live with it. So I guess I need to get over here for perspective. We are offset a little bit. Yeah, we're probably a little bit far away from there. A little farther than I thought I was. So I gotta pull back out. Move up a little bit here. it in and I'll kind of shave back some of that bowl no matter what we're gonna have a bowl there sometimes it is what it is with these remakes unless you want to pull your trap and I really don't feel like moving a wolf thing when it's still gonna have a lot of potential I didn't think I had that. 
I didn't think I had him in the trap. My game camera moved based on a, the wind. Moved it a little bit and I, he was in there. I seen him on camera though. He must have tried climbing the tree, smell my camera because he moved it. Something moved it. Getting rid of those lines that we have. Take this all back here. Get rid of that defining bowl. Not on every set, just on some sets. This is gonna be kind of uh, attracted to coyotes now. So that kind of hides, gets rid of everything. That's the best I could do. I mean, pretty much, pretty much is uh, blended pretty well. If a guy didn't know the trap was right there, so coyotes will probably search this whole thing now. So I'm gonna get some goodies down in the hole. So stay tuned. Going with some stinky, some stinky beaver in this one. Oh yeah. And there we go. That's all we got, and that should work good. Hopefully a bobcat comes through. <laughs> a bobcat would have a really hard time not investigating this. Like, what in the heck is this? So, now I gotta get some dog proof, at least one in. Gloves ain't getting along still. Oh, I guess the ground's just frozen here. Let's loosen it up. So the raccoon can pull it out. There we go, that ought to work. You don't want it stuck there. You want him to be able to get it out of the ground. Let him have that stick. All right, I just found some tracks over here I want to look at. It's just good to see because I'm only sat here. This is the second day here, so it's good to see there's other. I'm kind of curious what all crosses this water crossing, so it's good to look for tracks where you normally wouldn't see them without snow. But we got us a big old coon. Look at this guy, he's beautiful. This is gonna be a uh, and put on the wall so we'll keep him in a separate spot here well guys we're at the hill of death and look how low the water is that tube is way out of the water i can see some beaver sticks down there so i'm gonna definitely have to come back i wonder where the i think i see it i think i see the hut it's across the river but i see i see chewings we can draw them from across the river pretty easy. 
pretty sure it's right over there. But there's still a good amount of coon. We're gonna put a 220 here. And the battery went dead. But you see the hill. We do got some otter droppings. That's where we caught the otter last year. No water this year on this side, so it's probably just raccoon cruising down through here. So I'll probably put a 220 there. And then one on the other side for now. And I'm gonna put a and then I'll put a dirt hole up here. Try to try to get me an otter in a dirt hole set would be pretty pretty cool. So let's see what we can get set up. shooting for a otter but well, we'll take a coyote or a fox so we're gonna be a little we're gonna set it a little closer than normal than you normally would but I got a 220 right there so hopefully that'll catch any coon that come through because it could be forever before we get an otter to come through. See if my hole's big enough here. Is it big enough? Not quite. It's where a 550 would have come in handy. I should have just grabbed a 550. Gonna fit right down in there perfectly. That is better. That's a lot better. Get rid of that wiggle. There we go. Okay. We're gonna try to blend this in. Sorry about the wind. It's trapping season and it's typically always windy. off without getting too much on there and set it off. This is a little heavier dirt here. I'm just gonna use beaver oil and bait. I don't want anything skunky. So put some beaver oil down in there. And then my all predator. Okay, that's gonna be it. See if we can get us an otter here. I'll keep resetting it. It's gonna get tore up more and more and more over raccoons and stuff, but 
hopefully we can get something in that. Besides a raccoon, maybe a beaver and a 220 would be cool. We're in Iowa now, over where the hill of death is. And we're just plugging away, putting sets in. I love it. Here's a nice spot to get a, get a mink. That coon trail comes all the way down here. And it goes under this gate. This gate is just put here. It's not a fence. They just put a gate here to stop uh, beaver from swimming back and forth and damming it up. So, all right. I might not even need that. Let's see if that'll even work there. Probably not. Let's see if I can get that 220 set under this gate here. This. It's just a makeshift uh, water dam. Farmers get tired of messing with beaver, man. Uh, there's no joke. They do a little bit of everything to try to prevent beaver from damming this up. He's got a rake and stuff over here that he uses. Lucky for him, it was a drought year on the beaver front, but for his crops, it's not so lucky, I suppose. I'm gonna just stick this 220 right in here, like so. find a tree limb for that other side and we're gonna we got a good chance of getting a mink here <laughs> I just put this right here how is it oh no I can't it won't work I gotta find a tree there we go it's like a beaver chewed it off when it was Still water in the ditch. There we go. Piece of foam right here. Stick it up in here to keep this trap off the ground a little bit. Something simple like that. We know they're coming through there. Just when are they gonna come back through? This is a hell of a trail here. Could be mink going through that tube. Could be otter going from here to the pond that's over that way. Find out. Hey,